Tampa Bay is live and we start with Tropical Storm Ernesto forming in the Atlantic Ocean. I'm Frank Wiley and I'm Dave Wagner in for Courtney Robinson today. Meteorologist Natalie Ferrari is in tonight with our weather impact forecast. Natalie. Yeah, the latest guys just coming in from the National Hurricane Center within the last 10 minutes. That potential tropical cyclone that we were tracking east of the Leeward Islands at the Lesser Antilles. It fi finally did not only have some organization. We got that closed low going, which is what it needs to be tropical, but also now we've picked up those winds to 40 miles per hour that officially gives it that tropical storm classification. So now it'll be known as Ernesto moving forward. And I want to show you some of the latest information we've been seeing. Not only quite a bit of these showers getting a little bit more organized and starting to impact parts of the Eastern Caribbean tonight. But look at this. The reason it was given that potential tropical cyclone classification was that so parts of the greater Antilles could be given those tropical storm watches and warnings, which are now verified. They're going to be validated over the next couple of hours and even days at this point because this will be a slowly strengthening tropical storm through the middle of this week. It is forecasted curve, which I know is a big question for us here in Florida. Do we need to worry about this? It is not looking likely. It is wanting to curve up towards Bermuda as we go towards the end of this week and into our upcoming weekend. And at that point, it will be also known as Hurricane Ernesto. So it's something we're going to keep a very close eye on. But I will tell you the outer flow of that system may actually mean some good news for us here at home. So in my main forecast, we'll talk about that in detail.